Welcome back to the happy hour, guys. We are in Long Island City, and my name is still Jimmy Ludwig. And my name is still Mark Aldrich. And who is behind the camera? Squigs. Squigs is behind the camera, and we are at Alewife here in Long Island City. Okay, if you're in New York City and you want to go to a great craft beer bar, you cannot miss right here. And they have fantastic specials, fantastic menu of food, gems here that you're never going to see in a lot of other places. Great family atmosphere, literally a family atmosphere, because the owner, Patrick, and his wife are regularly here running the place and providing the rest of service to everybody who comes in the door. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. He's half off during happy hour. That's his pants. Please, sir, give us your name and your title, your department. My name is Patrick Donaher. I am co-owner of Alewife with Daniel Lanigan, Brian Palumbo, and my wife, Roz, who owns all everything. Uh, I detect a trace of an accent. You're German, right? Uh, no, I'm born and raised in Mississippi. Turkish? Flemish. From the Flem people? <laughs> I'm born and raised in Ballyshannon, County Donegal, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, the heart and soul of Alewife, Roz Doniger. Roz? Cheers! Oh God! Oh God! Look what almost happened. I'm the Alewife. That's, that's, it's named after me. Alewife. Now it's been quite the year for Alewife, full of great news and not so great news. But let's start with the good stuff first. RateBeer.com's best beer bar in New York for 2013. Alewife Queens. Up here, uh, we have uh, some uh, pool table, we have dartboard, uh, we have an outdoor space that's perfect for hanging out uh, during the summer. Great spots to hang upstairs, pool tables, an outdoor seating space, great specials, and if that name sounds familiar to you, there is a sister bar, Alewife in Baltimore. Look for an episode featuring Baltimore soon, but now let's get back to Queens and why we love these guys so much. They're a family. It's been a tough challenge here, but we're getting there, and you know, we got a lot of things hit us. We got Sandy hit us. We talked earlier about how Sandy had really impacted not not just Alewife, but your neighborhood and, and you as well. You live right down the street, right? Yeah, we live a couple blocks away. Yeah. So we were watching. We closed the bar that night because the storm was coming in. It came up 35 feet. And we're like, oh, the bar's fine. We're like, you know, two, three hundred yards away from the water here. We come in. We see water all along here. It's like two, three inches of water here. We're like, oh, it's not too bad. Then we went downstairs two to four feet of water in different parts and it was scary as hell we were like all our electricity was gone panels were gone our glycol machines were gone our motors were gone but uh, I want to point out that in the midst of everything that was going on with you guys you you went well out of your way to give back to the community and to be a source of comfort to people some friends of ours donated some beer to us and we started tapping it because a lot of all these buildings around us were all completely wiped out yeah. Like there's no electricity, so we opened our doors and we cleared all this area, front area or the, the main floor, and we invited people in and whatever we could serve, we served. Um, we tried to cook up with some things and, and serve them too, and people just came and hung out here all night because they had no electricity in their place. So some people slept upstairs, and wow. you know it was, it was it was tough, man. So even when their backs were against the wall, the folks at Alewife did everything they could for their community. And by the way, they have terrific happy hour specials. Hey, back to the good news. Do I have something in my teeth? So the food has arrived, and Gregorio is going to describe to us exactly what's going on as Julia Child. Go. So it's quite a pleasure to cook for you all today. But the thing I'm really most proud of is our Alewife burger. As you can see, it is six ounces of lovely, lovely cow, cream ray four sauce, and caramelized onions. Paul and I completely have fun with the Ray 4 sauce, which I really can't say in mixed company. So to recap, even though it's been a hard year for Alewife, they have brought home the hardware. Rake Beer's best beer bar in all of New York for 2013, and one of the best burgers in all of New York City. What are you waiting for? Take the 7 train out to the Vernon Jackson stop. Oh, and one more thing. In addition to serving great craft from across the world and the U.S., there is a focus at Alewife for drinking local. We have so many good breweries in New York City right now, it's brilliant. And, and I'm so proud to be like friends with all these guys and pour their beers, you know. They're always constantly thri or thriving for, for improvement. They're always trying to be the best at what they do, you know, and they're doing it. Like, and, and it's a completely different experience for, for you and for, for those of us on the other side of the bar to, to know the people who make the beer that you're drinking. And I, I don't think that can... I it more, I feel. Yeah. Knowing what they go through every day and, and you know, what hardships they, they went through. They yeah. work so hard. It's ridiculous how hard these guys work. Yeah. They're up every morning at 5 30, 6 in the morning just to get their uh, brew day started. The Old Wife Queens, it is a cannot miss.
See you next time. <laughs> We're always here to drink beer with you. <laughs> you just said screaming nipples. I'm going to start a band now. <laughs> <laughs>